In this video clip, we're going to compute the sum of the squared deviations from the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation for a small sample example. So let's pretend that these uh, 10 data points represent um, 10 scores from 10 participants um, for a variable. And we want to compute first uh, the sum of the squared deviations uh, from the mean for that variable. And we will use the computational formula which is sum of the squared deviations from the mean equals sum of the squared x's subtract sum of x squared over n. Then we'll compute, after we have the sum of squares, we'll compute the variance, sample variance, by taking sum of squares divided by n minus 1. And then finally, we'll compute the standard deviation by taking the square root of the variance. So, first step, we need to compute uh, the sum of the squared deviations from the mean. Uh, we need, on the left-hand side of the equation here, the sum of all the scores for x uh, squared. So we'll need to square up each score for our variable x. So we'll do that first. 1 squared, 0 squared, 5 squared, and so on. So we're simply squaring each score for x. After you've scored, squared each score for x, then we need to take the sum of all those squared scores. So we'll add up all of the squared scores in the second column. Take the sum of those squared scores. So if we add up all of those scores, we should get 5,065. Now we have the left-hand side of the equation. And now we need to compute the right-hand side of the equation, which in the numerator says take the sum of x and then square the sum of x. So to get the sum of x, we simply add up all the scores for x. The sum of x here equals 161. Now we need to square that as well for the equation. So we'll go ahead and plug both of those numbers into the equation. So we have sum of squares equals 5,065 minus 161 squared. Don't forget that we need to square that over n, which here is 10 because there are 10 scores. So 161 squared gives us 25921 divided by 10. And don't forget to bring down the left hand side. So now we just simply divide and then subtract to get the sum of the squares. So on the right hand side we have 10 side we have 5065. We subtract. And we have 
stuff for the sum of squares. 2472.9. Right, so now we would need to calculate the variance. So to calculate the variance from the sum of squares, as we saw from the formula above, we simply take the sum of squares divided by n minus 1. So we have for the variance 2472.9 divided by n minus 1. Here there's a sample size of 10, so n minus 1 would be 10 minus 1, which gives us 9. Now we have our variance, which is 274. seven six 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 we'll round to the fourth decimal place here and finally we probably want to get the standard deviation so to get the standard deviation from the variance as we saw before we simply take the square root of the variance we want the standard deviation sometimes symbolized with an S, but I'll go ahead and throw a D on there. We take the square root of 274.7667. And we get 16.5 16.58 is our standard deviation. So we've computed the standard deviation by way of the variance and the sum of the squared deviations um, from the mean using the computational formula. So using these formulas here, we're able to compute that. Uh, so that gives us an approximation of uh, how much we might expect a given score to deviate uh, from the mean uh, for this set of scores.